that allows me to give a nice answer is a grip of mastery. These techniques are called lift or are modeling techniques. What does it mean? I position my thumb, my tenere minus on the patient's mastoid, the other tenere minus on the patient's mastoid. I can go and put one hand on the other in this way. I push it. What is it? From this position, I compress and go down. So this type of speech here. So how do I do it? I put how much strength. I put enough strength because in this case, I use the big elbows. I go to compress. I bring it down. The feeling that the patient has at this moment that he is widening his head, right? I stay. Don't worry, intelligence doesn't come in, so don't worry. So let's try to do this job here to relax a little. Every now and then I give a little stronger compressions. I start from far away, I get to the end and I push. In this case, what am I doing? I'm pulling the tentacle of the brain. Involuntarily, I'm giving him a nice input, okay? This neurologically stimulates the parasympathetic in an important way and also the drainage. Then there is a second lift that is important, that of the parietals. So I position myself at the level of the parietals, so the parietal bump is here. I go to position myself with my fingers, with my palms on the parietal bump. I go to create a butterfly position, so I create a bite with my hands. From this position I create a pull. Look, now I exaggerate. Look at the lift effect, or lifting in this case, of his skin, okay? and I'm going to hook on the bone, not on the skin, and pull up the whole parietal. What will happen under my hands? That a movement of this type could start, it is the membrane of the falx that begins to slide a little below, that is to try to find a breakaway. Calculate that that creates the balance of the skull. I am creating an imbalance there, okay? So it can happen. I stay, I stay until I feel that there is a release of the tissue. It is not the skin, it is the tissue, it is the bone. So we have to... Can we give up and resume if, just in case, the patient has no hair like me or like him? Yes, of course, we would miss it. Make a nice pull, give it up for a second, soft. There must be a rebound, soft, resume the hole again. And I'm going to stretch it all out again. At a certain point, what do I have? Another lift I can do is the one related to the frontal. In this case, I approach. I lean my tina menensa on the pilaster of the frontal, okay? I close my fingers. I bend over. I go up. It could be annoying. I go down and I create a movement of this type. That is, I bring the frontal forward and following what? Following the relative part, the table. So I bring it up and open it in this way, okay? I create a movement. Or I can also go and do a job on the pilasters in this way, pulling it up. There are two sockets. Very often you sweat on the face in this season and then the hand tends to escape. So we stop, we take it from below and we pull it up again. Then what do we have? Zygomatic lift. I go down, same thing. I bring it up, 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 okay? So I create a diastasis. The feeling of what is below is to have the face that comes forward, like the face-off film with Nicolas Cage and John Travolta. Another last thing, the entire jaw part. I go down, I ask you to hook me up, please, the jaw, and I create a push that goes down. Hook me up good, and I go to hook me up as much as possible. Once this is done, I go again to do a little bit of suboccipital below to release the muscle part. We go up, we let the head rest. 